I'm in the middle. You gotta pull the merch in the middle. I'm gonna take it. Test one. We'd like to welcome our Eastern Michigan Eagles to the press conference room. We'll go ahead and let the head coach, Rob Murphy, open with an opening statement. Uh, I thought this was a really good win for us. Uh, we got off to a slow start. Uh, we knew Akron would be extremely tough out uh, here in Cleveland. Uh, knew they would have confidence coming in. They had been playing well. Uh, and they shoot the ball exceptionally well. So we got off to a bad start offensively. Um, and put them in transition early, something we don't usually do. Uh, and they were able to score uh, and build the lead. Uh, our guys continued to fight throughout the first half. I thought uh, James Thompson getting a couple fouls early hurt us by him being on the bench. Our uh, rebounding lacked. Our defensive interior lacked. Uh, but we went into halftime and made some adjustments <coughs> offensively. Uh, but Akron continued to come out and play well at the beginning of the second half. And I thought we changed the game right around that 12-minute mark uh, when we decided to press. Um, Ideally, just wanting to speed them up to see if they'll make a few mistakes, uh, which they did, uh, which able, we were able to get some uh, quick buckets in transition that we hadn't got all game. Uh, and then once we made a run and cut it to single digits, uh, we've seen them begin to think a little bit, be a little bit indecisive. Um, and from the six-minute mark on, we made really great offensive plays. We played great defense. Uh, we were able to rebound the ball and close out the game. So a lot of credit to our guys for being down 19, uh, continuing to believe uh, what we preach and teach every day defensively um, and offensively for executing. Um, I thought um, uh, Elijah Minnie did an unbelievable job in the second half. He finished with 21-14 and three huge blocks. I thought Tim Bond, you know, all game, continued to help initiate our offense. He made key steals and key plays when needed. Uh, and we were able to close out the game. So uh, give Akron a lot of credit. Uh, you know, they gave us all we can handle. Uh, our guys could have kind of melted, uh, could have veered left and threw the towel in. But in each and every time out, we just worked on cutting the lead, cutting the lead uh, in increments, taking one game, I mean, I'm sorry, one play at a time. Uh, and to a man, everybody believed and just continued to stick with what we were going to do. And Tim Baum being a senior, uh, obviously, we didn't want to go out and end his career uh, in MAC play with a quarterfinal loss. So uh, we dug in, and I give our guys a lot of credit. Very thankful to advance. Questions for Elijah Mitty and also Tim Bond. My question's for Tim. Tim uh, became the single season all-time steal leader tonight. Tim, there were several in this game, I think three of them. Uh, how much of your anticipation defensively and, and knowing that you had to get points in transition against Akron, who was pesky all night, uh, just the mindset of scoring in transition and points off turnovers? Uh, the defense, the mindset is always like, at the top of my head, Coach Murphy is always telling me, try to get this still, get that still. You know, we, he preaches defense all day and night, so that's what I try to, like, bring my game off the most, just try to feed off defense and get everybody going. And Elijah, those key threes in the uh, late in the second half there, just talk about the confidence in shooting those in that situation. Um, well, I mean, most of the confidence comes from myself and, uh, and then Coach Murph. Um, you know, he I – mean, I can remember – uh, like it was yesterday, we were sitting in Kent, and I think I was like 0 for 4, um, and he, I sat down on the bench, and he told me to keep shooting. He told me if J.J. Redick is 0 for 4, he's going to keep shooting. Um, so that's the confidence he has in me. So um, from that day, that's the confidence I had in myself is just keep shooting, um, but just making, making the shots, not just shooting them to shoot them, but just to, that I know I'm going to make them. Elijah, you were named third team All-Mac despite being the fifth highest score in the conference and top three in steals, blocks, fifth in free throw percentage in the league, um, and not on the all-defensive team. How much of that did you think about and drive you uh, in this game and through this tournament? Uh, it's on my mind a lot. You know, I, I feel embarrassed that the conference even picked me at third team. I thought I was at least second team, but maybe first team, but at least second team. Um, I was leading, I think I was second in blocks, like fourth or third in steals. I didn't make all defensive team. I didn't get any recognition on that either. Um, so I feel really disrespected and embarrassed by the MAC uh, for getting third team. Um, and that's on the back of my head. Um, and it's going to cost a lot of coaches. Gentlemen, we'll let you get back to the locker room. Congratulations. We'll let Thank Coach you. Murphy remain for a few more minutes. Questions for Coach Murphy? Mm -hmm. OK, so Coach, you guys are down by 19 points. 
with 12 and a half minutes left and James Thompson in foul trouble. How did, what did it take for your team to exactly come back in this game? Well, it's no exact science, and obviously that's not you know, the situation we want to be in. But uh, continued belief was the message. Uh, continuing to believe in what we needed to do and making sure we uh, you know, took one step at a time. We weren't going to get it all back with one shot or one defensive play, but we just needed to be consistent in what we were doing. Uh, and more importantly, these guys continuing to believe that it can happen. And everyone, as I mentioned earlier, to a man in every time out, you know, continue to motivate each other and tell them, you know, a lot of time. Now, don't look at the score. Don't look at the clock. But it's a lot of time left for us to make a run. And I thought when we, uh, you know, drew up our diamond press to speed them up, we got a few steals. Uh, and then we continued to stay on our red press, which sped them up. And any time you, uh, you know, you, you're in a situation where uh, one team is scoring and then you start to think, and which our zone makes you do, um, you know, you, you, you tend to get in trouble. And that's what happened to Akron tonight. Coach Murphy, yeah. at 3.15 Eastern tied at 57-57, what, right at that moment, what were you thinking? Uh, well, I knew we had the momentum. Even when we were down seven, we had the momentum. We thought and felt we were in great shape. Uh, Elijah, uh, Jordan Nobles hit a big three in the corner. Um, and then Elijah came back and hit a three. And we knew once we, you know, cut it to single digits and continued to amp up our defense, we would stifle them. Uh, and that's what we did. You know, they started to think. Uh, they started to second guess themselves. They turned on a couple open shots and tried to penetrate. Uh, and I give James Thompson a lot of credit. He didn't score a lot, but in the last six minutes, his presence uh, was great. He came up with a huge block, a huge deflection, which led to a steal, which led to an early transition bucket. Um, but collectively, our team, uh, defensively, you know, we, we were great the last six minutes. So I, I give those guys a lot of credit for believing and buying into what we were teaching and preaching uh, during every timeout. Congratulations. Thank All you. Right. All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks for having me.